The first major of the LPGA season is arguably the most prestigious of them all. Held at Mission Hills Country Club, the ANA inspiration is steeped in tradition and has developed its own quirks since it was founded in 1972 by the entertainer Dinah Shaw. The championship has gone under many names over the years, but the location has remained the same. Everyone knows about the winner's celebration, the famous leap into Poppy's Pond, as the ANA gets the women's major season underway in style. This is largely what they consider their masters. Coming home to the same venue every year, dreaming of winning at this venue. To have a, an active roster and a tenure of 46 years in the same location. Uh, to have the event where Mickey Wright has won and then every major champion in between. I love coming here. I mean, right when you pull into the guard gate uh, in Mission Hills, just the flowers and the palm trees and the scenery and just how green it is and how beautiful everything is. And um, it just brings back such wonderful memories, obviously winning it twice, but uh, even outside of that, it just, it just has a special place in my heart. It's just a beautiful place to come and hang out for a week. This is my favorite event of the year. I think the tradition and the history behind it, um, this tournament's gone on for so long, and then just the tradition of jumping into Poppy's Pond, and we always, um, just as golfers, we always see ourselves jumping into that pond and always imagine it, so I think that's what makes it unique. The 18th hole is so signature to have the island green, to have the bridge, to have the dinosaur walk, the walk of champions, um, you know, the leap into Poppy's Pond. It's so signature to have somebody, you know, actually jump in water and then get a, get a robe. Um, so it's, it's such a great, um, a great tradition. So I think you wouldn't be able to replicate that somewhere else. The tournament coincides with the party-filled Dinah Shore weekend, which certainly adds to the unique atmosphere in Palm Springs during Championship Week. The combination of the annual music festival with the top quality golf provides players and spectators with something quite special. It's a great course to just come and watch. I mean, there's, it's such a gallery-friendly course. Uh, out of 120 golf courses in the Palm Springs Ranch Mirage area, it's still voted the top, you know, top course each and every year. So I think having a great course and a great venue like Mission Hills is fantastic. You know, we try to look at a, an upgraded fan experience between culinary and, and seating areas and viewing areas. So a combination of all that, it's not just golf, but it's, it's a fantastic venue to just come out and experience it. Yes, along with the golf, there's the Inspiring Women in Sport Conference, another event aimed at furthering women's equality. I just love the name of this, this tournament, ANA Inspiration. How, how good can it get? We bring in, you know, Olympic athletes outside of the world of golf to inspire not only the players in the LPGA and show them now that they're Olympic athletes, um, but also just the fans and, and women and youth in general, just to kind of inspire them across all, all of us all uh, sport meetings. Maria Sharapova! So the theme is really bringing in top athletes in their sport, having them combine with LPGA, getting people excited about what women are doing in the world of sport, because it's very significant, and we want to be a part of that and help lead the charge in that. The ANA inspiration is using its prestigious past to shape the future. And we wondered if there's one moment that sticks out for the tournament director who's had a major influence on the identity of the tournament. One of my favorite memories is Lorena Ochoa, who was so beloved here. She would go down to the maintenance yard every year, have breakfast with the whole maintenance crew, sign autographs, take pictures. So the year she won um, in, 2000, in 2008 um, was, uh, I remember there was a mariachi band, she was leading, there was like 30 people that jumped in the pond, so it was like, you know, it was one of the most epic uh, celebrations I'd seen. So that sticks out to me amongst hundreds, but that's one highlight that I remember that was really special. 